Have you ever wished there was that there was a way to just spend a little bit of money and suddenly become significantly more productive? It's sort of like spend a little money and lose weight with no life, lifestyle changes. Well, you can literally do that same thing with your productivity. Spend a little bit of money, get more productive, and no lifestyle changes involved at all. <laughs> what is it? And I'm going to show you how to do it for less than 150 bucks. So it's the fastest and the easiest way to increase your productivity. Here's what it is. Get yourself a second monitor. So scientists have found that if you'll use a second monitor, you'll tend to increase your productivity by an average of 10 to 20%. So if you think, oh, no, I can't do that because it's like, no, if you've never used a second monitor, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But the ability to split your screen, put two things on the screen, the ability to, 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 to go put something that you're copying and pasting from on the other screen and just go back and forth instead of copy, change what you're going to paste, change what you're going to go back to copy, change what you're going to go back to paste. It's just it, it, it just is ridiculous. So. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go to Amazon.com here and I'm going to show you really quickly. So all I did was put in computer monitor. OK, search on that. So go down so you can get them for your laptop, too. I'll show you that in just a second. Here's 99 bucks, 21.5 inch inch. OK, personally, I don't like the 21.5s they are too small. Um, 24, I'd say, is your is your minimum, but still 99 bucks there. Uh, here we got a 23.8. So that's a 24 inch. So let me tell you what's worth paying more money. Oh, before I do that, let, let me just. Let me do this. So let's just look at laptop monitors. So you've got laptop monitors that can be separate that stand up with a little stand like this. And then you have ones that actually attach to your computer, to, to your laptop. So you put a uh, like a 3M sticky tape thing on the back of it and you can actually have it so you can have two separate monitors. So if you're a laptop user, you can make this practically happen very, very easily, either with the two things coming out. And yes, that's $359 because that's a that's a higher expense. But here's $129 for a 16 inch, 15.6 inch separate monitor. I strongly recommend that you get one of these for your laptop and one for your desktop too. If you're not a desktop user, by the way, that will significantly increase your productivity. If you actually got a desktop computer, they're faster, they're easier. They, there's all kinds of things. Everybody who grew up in the Apple. We got to have our little Mac sitting on our lap and so we can work anywhere. You know what that does is it gives you neck aches and it makes it so that you don't produ produce very well because you're always getting distracted by everything about you. I suggest you have a primary workspace. You put a desktop there and you work from that. But that's just me. That's just me. OK, so let me let's talk about what is worth paying more money for. OK, so let's go back to this one. Let's assume desktop for just a minute. OK, so you'll notice that they show size, refresh rate, resolution and response time. OK. What I re the things I have found that are not worth paying more money for are unless you're a gamer. If you're a gamer, then it may make a difference between seven milliseconds and three milliseconds. I'm not a gamer. I have no idea why. I assume there's some lag time or something like that. So response time unless you're a gamer has nothing to do with it refresh rate don't really worry about it what is worth paying more money for at least 1080p and size the bigger the size the happier so what i have and then the other thing that's worth paying more money for is 4k versus 1080p versus some other number so let's do this let me show you some tips around doing around getting your second second monitor. So number one, the bigger, the better. So I firmly believe now if you're doing it for your laptop, then you probably don't want to get get above the size of your laptop. So if you're carrying around a 15.6 inch screen on your laptop, that's probably what you should get for your second one. But uh, I but 
if you're doing a desktop, I strongly find the more de the more uh, real estate I've got on my monitors, the better off I am. So I have a 32 inch curved screen, 4K sitting in front of me. 4K means I can put half again as much information on the on the page without it being straining my eyes to see it. I have over here another. 32 inch 4K monitor. Here I have a vertical going vertical and someday I'll show you my my setup because because some of you would will would dearly love to have this setup. I've got a vertical monitor here. So it's a wide screen monitor, but I turned it on its side and I keep my calendar down here and my slack in the middle and then up at the top I put like a to do list or whatever I'm working on. And then I also have a little teeny tiny monitor sitting right up here that I use when I'm doing certain heavy work. So this is like a seven inch monitor. Uh, and, and I'll explain why in a future video, why, why I would ever want to do that. Next, real 1080p is the ideal, either real 1080p or real 4K. And you got to look at the numbers. They'll say, OK, high definition. But if it's not 1080p or ultra high definition and it's not 30, what is it, 38, 40 by 2160, check that, check that. OK, if you get different numbers, here's what happens. And I'm talking specifically for those of us in our industry. So if you're filming a video, you want that video to either be 4K, pure 4K, or pure 1080p, which then can drop into things like YouTube. It can drop into any player anywhere. And so it's just best to have a real live 1080p, which means 1920 by 1080 is the size that it needs to be, because then you can just drop it to there, film the thing, and you've got it and you can drop it into and all your videos are exactly the same size to the pixel. It's it's important to do. So I recommend don't so that the, for some reason, some of these places, especially with laptops now have gotten into they say it's a 16 by nine, but actually it's 16 by 10 or it's 15 by nine or something like that, because they'll do different, slightly different things. 10, 1920 by 1080. OK, next, a matched set is good. For a long time, I had a 32 inch 4K monitor right here and I had a 32 inch 1080p monitor here, which meant that anytime I dragged my cursor from one to the other, the cursor would go over and then it would jump down to a different spot on the 1080p monitor or uh, and I and I so I suggest match set for your desktop is really, really good. A 4K is amazing as long as you get 32 inches or above for a 4K. If you're going to get a 21 inch, don't bother with 4K. It won't do you any good at all. Uh, but a 32 inch or above, that's great. Next, you may notice I wear glasses. OK, some of you may also make it work for your eyes. So when you get it, you can do things like set what level. So I th I have mine at about, I think it's 110% zoom, which makes the type just a little bit bigger, makes it easier for me to see it. And, and these glasses, so I normally wear bifocals. The problem with bifocals is that bifocals have have a very small area in them that makes it appropriate to see your screen. And so you find yourself constantly going like this. If you, if you wear bifocals, you know exactly what I mean. You keep having to do this and pretty soon you got neck aches going all the time. So what I did is I went to my eye doctor and I said, I want a pair of single vision glasses for my computer set at 31 inches away at, at whatever it was. I think it's 31 inches away. I, I measured from my nose, from my eyes to my screen. And I went to him and I said that. And he said, I know exactly what to do. And so he gave me this prescription for these and it's great. So my entire glasses means that everything's, everything is, is in focus everywhere I go. And then I just jack up my, my, my size by about 10% and I can see everything perfectly clearly and it's great. Next you probably don't need to pay extra for a touch screen. So here's what's going to happen. If you are, especially a laptop user, addicted to your touch screen, here's what you do. Your computer, your laptop is your touch screen. Your second monitor is not a touch screen. So you just cut the amount of money that you have to pay for that by like half, 
or something like that. And so anything you need to touch, you just touch your screen on your laptop and their second monitor just sits over here. Next, stick with it and learn how. Here's what I keep finding. People, especially laptop people, they love the laptop. They love the ability to go wherever and not ever have to set anything up. They can work off their lap. They can work when they're walking, you know, all those kinds of things like that. And so some of them will, will buy a second screen, but never actually use it. And until you spend a week using it, when you spend a week doing using it, you will probably never go back to finding a single screen to be the most desirable solution. And what it'll, what, but if you, but you need to spend that week to be able to do, to get the full advantage, the full productivity advantage out of it. And then I suggest you also get one for both your desktop and your laptop because it's just that valuable. Okay. So those are my hints. I uh, feel strongly about this. I've literally been preaching this for over 10 years and a few people, many people have bought into this and have done it and a few people are still not. So let me give you the thing that caused me to say that I wanted to do this. I have a good friend who I was on doing a Zoom call uh, with and we were both presenting and uh, he said, I'm so frustrated. I can't really use uh, I can't, I, I need you to share the presentation because I really can't because I'm just on my laptop here and I can't, haven't ever figured out how to properly go from the laptop presentation to Zoom and back and forth and all that stuff. And it's like, man, just spend a hundred bucks, 150 bucks and buy a second screen. I know I've been thinking about it. How long you been thinking about four years? And it's like, you know what? Just buy one. <laughs> it, it, and And what I do is, when I'm going on a trip where I know I'm going to spend over two hours working someplace, I just throw my extra screen in my laptop, in my backpack. If I'm just going to be like, I just have it so I can check email or, or something like that. I don't need to bring that. And so I don't bring it. It's not much. It's pound or so, but you know what? Why take extra when I don't have to? So it's just so much easier when you've got them. So steady a little bit. As you look at them, you're going to have to plug it into a USB port. Uh, and many of the new ones require you to plug it into USB, USB-C port. So if you've got a newer laptop, that's what you got. But then it, that takes care of charging as well as the transfer of the signal from one to the other. They've got some new ones that have come out now that actually have a battery in them. So they don't need uh, the extra power from your computer. But you know what? Just... Just pay extra for size, pay extra for uh, to get a max gene set if you need it, and go from there. Okay. Second screen, easiest way to increase your productivity. No lifestyle changes involved. And it's great. You will love it. Do you have a second screen? Let me know. Want a second screen? Go spend $150 and let me know. And uh, I'll see you later. This is Don Crowther saying, just go do this stuff. Mm -hmm.